This is a Fox News alert. We learned at the top of the hour, President Obama will hold a cabinet level meeting of his security team within the hour. They're going to discuss the future of American assistance to Egypt. This comes as evidence mounts that an all out jihad on Christians is underway. Check out these images. Supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood carrying out vicious attacks on churches, homes, schools, and even an orphanage. In one community, Christian homes and businesses have reportedly been marked with big black X's to actually single them out for attacks. At least 60 churches have been torched since the Muslim Brotherhood was removed from power. Unfortunately, attacks on Christians are nothing new in Egypt, but they have recently increased dramatically. The Muslim Brotherhood using the cover of violent protests to carry out these assaults. Lieutenant Colonel Ralph Peters is a Fox News strategic analyst and author of Hell or Richmond. Lisa Daftari is a Fox News contributor and Mideast journalist. Joe Trippi is the former campaign manager for Howard Dean and has worked on at least four other major presidential bids. He, too, is a Fox News contributor. Welcome to you all. Thank you. Good to be with you. Lisa, I'll start with you. I mean, you, you have covered this area for a lengthy period of time. These attacks aren't new, but they certainly seem very escalated. Right, they've been extremely escalated. First, under the year that Morsi uh, was president, and now even more so since Wednesday, the Muslim Brotherhood has vowed to go and attack civilians. And of course, their main target, the easiest target, uh, is the Christian community in Egypt. This is one of the oldest Christian communities in the world. You have uh, churches here that are uh, over a thousand years old being torched to the ground. And just yesterday, memos were found by the investigative project on terrorism where the Muslim Brotherhood uh, was actually giving their blessing to actually burn down these churches. And you have uh, you know, young people being shot at. A 10-year-old girl last week was shot coming home from Bible study. This is you know, a, a very, very tragic and sad part of the bigger um, you know, story that we're, we're hearing on the ground in Egypt. Uh, Joe, and one of the things that we heard too was that for the first time in 1,600 years, 1,600 years, one of these uh, churches actually had to cancel and delay services. Uh, they had come under attack. Is it time now for America to step up and say something much more forceful, not only about the overall situation in Egypt, but by the specific attacks on Christians there? Well, yeah, I mean, look, everybody would denounce the attacks on the Christians there. That's not the, the, the problem is how do you stop it? Uh, the, right now, uh, people are saying that the, that the, the president hasn't uh, been tough enough on the government yet on the military uh, uh, and, and and here it's the military that's trying to stop the Muslim Brotherhood from doing this to the churches you, you know so this is a very very difficult uh, situation for the United States unless we're going to do another you know some sort of invasion to stop it which I just don't see happening I don't think he, anybody's calling for that right now yeah Colonel Peters I don't see uh, US troops on the ground as a solution to any of this no, certainly not. The future of Egypt has to be decided by Egyptians. But, you know, responding to uh, Joe Trippi's remark, look, n not everybody is condemning this. Far from it. Can you imagine the outrage this administration would express if anywhere in the world Christians had burned 60 mosques? But the administration's response to the, the attacks upon the murder of Christians, the destruction of churches, some of them 1,600 years old, has been one clause in one sentence. And by the way, it's not just the administration. I, to, astonishingly, Senator McCain, Senator Graham, and others on the right are saying nothing about this, but rather arguing that some magic how this marvelous Morsi Muslim Brotherhood government should be reinstated. We're being cowards and it's fair game on Christians. And oh, by the way, as far as the left, the left, you can excite more sympathy for the, the destruction of the Aztec and Mayan empires than for the destruction of 2,000 years of Christian civilization in the Middle East. This is a Holocaust, and we are as silent now as we were in the 1930s. Joe, I want to give you a chance to directly respond to that. Would this be different if it were mosques that were being destroyed? Uh, uh, look, they, they've been, uh, they, there have been, an, it, it, anytime you have this kind of situation, under the cover of these demonstrations, some, somebody takes out somebody. You, we've, we had this with the Shia taking out Sunni, Sunni taking out Shia. It's not just uh, 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 with, with, with Christians. A and words are not going to stop this. That's the problem. You can denounce it all. You, it, we, I'll, I'll, I denounce it every. I, I, the, the, 
that you can't just do this with words. That it is going to be Egyptians taking this into their own hands, which is how this all started in the first place. It's never clean. It's always uh, a mess, and uh, it, there's not a whole lot that the international community can do about this. There are a lot of other things at, at risk here, and, and I, I abhor this and want to do something about it, but I don't have an answer. I'm not sure McCain does, Graham does, or for the ma that matter, our State Department or anybody uh, outside of Egypt has an answer on how you stop this right now. Oh, I want to bring Lisa back in here because we know today the president is going to meet. Uh, we understand within an hour or so with his top security advisors, this is considered a cabinet level meeting. So if it's not about words, if denunciation is not going to stop this, will cutting off aid, will that hurt or help? Will it backfire? What else can be done? I think it's the biggest, biggest fatal mistake uh, for our administration to cut off aid in Egypt. We don't need boots on the ground, that's correct, but we do need moral support on the ground. And what the U.S. needs to do is to tell the Muslim Brotherhood to put their weapons down. It's extremely clear for people who cover this area who the good guys are and who the bad guys are. This is a war on terror that the Egyptian government is fighting, and we need to stand behind them. And we do need to let the Egyptians take this into their own hands uh, what, regarding what's going on on the ground. But if we want to say in the future of Egypt, if we want to buy our seat at the table, there are plenty of people already doing that, the Saudis, the Kuwaitis. The Egyptians don't need our money. We need them more than they need us. And our aid to Egypt was instated decades ago in order for us to keep our interests in the area. And we have to remember what our interests in the area continue to be and will be. And that's, you know, security of the Suez Canal, keeping the uh, terrorists out of the Sinai Peninsula, keeping uh, peace with Israel, the Camp David Accords. And we have to remember that once the dust settles and Egypt is back on its feet and in looking to build its government, we're the ones who are going to want a seat at that table and we're the ones who are going to want our interests kept again. And Colonel Peters, in the midst of all of those interests, were, which are all valid and legitimate and very strong interests, do you worry that the plight of the Coptic Christians gets lost somewhere in that bigger discussion of other very important priorities? It already has gotten lost. Are there articles on the front page of the New York Times? How many networks other than Fox are covering uh, these barbaric, barbaric assaults upon the Coptic Christians and upon Christians elsewhere throughout the Middle East? This destruction of an incredibly rich 2,000-year-old civilization. And we, don't, we not only don't do anything, we don't say anything. Meanwhile, the people of Egypt, Lisa is absolutely right, the people of Egypt are struggling against Islamist totalitarianism. And President Obama and Senator McCain are siding with the Islamist totalitarians. Explain why that makes sense for America. All right, Colonel Peters, Joe Trippi, Lisa Daftari, we've got to leave it there. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you.